In this video, we'll look into how masks work in Affinity. So if you've worked with image editing tools like Photoshop, then you might have come across a feature called layer masks, where we can hide a particular object or element of an image by masking them out and brushing them with black color. So the basic concept with Affinity is also the same. However, it might take a few time to get used to how masks work in Affinity. So in this video, we'll look into how masks work in Affinity. So before applying a layer masks, first of all, let's go ahead and select the image. And after selecting the image, go down and click on this mask layer icon to mask the image out. Now, after you have masked the image out, you can see a new layer or the mask has been created in the image layer. And the blue color square around the mask indicate that the mask is being selected. Now, go to the toolbar and select a brush tool. And make sure that the foreground color is set to black. Because we are hiding an object from the, this image using a mask. So, if we select a black color, black color indicates that we are hiding. And if we swap from black to white as a foreground color, then this indicates that we are making the things that are hidden previously using the mask visible by painting it with white color through brush. So we want things to hide here. So I'll toggle to black color as a foreground color. And by making sure that the mask is selected, I'll hide the oranges from the image. So I'll brush on the image like so to hide the orange. And now you can see that the image is completely hidden. However, for now, I'll leave the next orange as it is. So if you, you might be wondering what is the white blotch here, then this particular white blotch is actually the white color of the canvas. Because using layer masks is like punching a hole to hide a particular object or any element from an image or artwork. So this white color is the color of the canvas because this image is being punched out through layer masks selectively where orange is only being hidden. And the best part of this is this layer masks is non-destructible. That is, we can easily bring back the details, which is the orange, easily. So in order to bring back the orange, all we have to do is first, let's select the foreground color as black in order to select the foreground color as black let me click here and select sorry select the foreground color to be white let me reset the swatch here okay so it turns out that as i'm not selecting the mask the foreground color and the background color is inactive. So let me select the mask. And now you can see after selecting the mask and pressing the D key, the foreground and background color has been resetted. Now in order to bring back the orange that we have hide, it, hide through the mask, all we need to do is invert the colors. That is, that is bring the white color to the foreground by pressing the X key and toggle between it. And then after toggling the white color to the foreground, all we need to do is click and drag to bring those oranges back like so. So this is the basic feature or concept of mask. However, if we want to get rid of, let's say, apples now, we can also make use of the selection tool here. So go to the selection tool. Okay, so this time we'll go to selection brush tool instead of other tools although other tools will also work here like object selection tool i'll select the selection tool and after selecting the selection tool let me make the size of the brush a little bit bigger by uh, clicking on the curly bracket key and then selecting the area of the apples like so
okay so it turns out that the selection is pretty good here but however we have to tweak a little bit to make few things out of the selection and if we want to uh, opt out of the selection a particular area then we can hold down the option key and drag to not get other areas to be involved inside the selection so i'm holding down the option key and dragging to rule out the areas which are selected extra okay okay so okay like in this area also i'm holding down the option key and then clicking and dragging to rule out the areas which are selected as an extra all right Okay, so let me also go ahead and select the top part of the apple. Okay, so while you are selecting, make sure that if you hold the option key, then you will rule out the areas out of the selection that we don't want. And if you leave the option key, then you will add the areas inside the selection like so okay after selecting the areas of apple in order to mask it out let's go to the brush tool again and select the brush tool and make sure that the foreground color is set to black because it will hide uh, the things that we have painted on the screen so by making sure that the mask is selected now just paint on the areas of the apple and you can clearly see that the selection has helped us to easily paint only the areas of apple that we want to get rid of and we can simply deselect the selection by holding down the command key and selecting the d key and now it will be deselected like so so this is how masks work in affinity so I hope you understood the concept because understanding the concept is the main thing here so that you can uh, use the same concept across any applications no matter which application you use in the future. So if you find this video helpful, please give the like button. If you want more tips and tricks in the future related to affinity, then press the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon to get notified about any new videos that I post on Affinity. Thank you for watching the video and see you on next time.